The president's emergency plan for AIDS relief in Africa has provided life-saving antiretroviral treatment to 9.5 million people, prevented 1 million babies from being infected by their mothers, and helped train 190,000 healthcare professionals. Dr. Anthony Fauci played a pivotal role in starting PEPFAR. He's the director of the U.S. National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, which is now expanding the search for a cure. If you can engineer the antibodies, you may be able to administer them maybe every four to six months, which would be very good and much better than taking medicine every single day. The other way is if we start to get a vaccine that looks pretty um, promising, you may be able to vaccinate someone who's infected while they're on antiretroviral therapy, build up a substantial immune response, and then discontinue the antiretroviral therapy in the hope that the virus doesn't rebound. The Institute has been supporting a promising vaccine trial in South Africa, which will involve 5,400 uninfected men and women at multiple sites, starting in early November. An earlier phased trial has already indicated a strong immune response from test participants. Vaccine, a successful, safe and effective vaccine, will be extremely important for the global AIDS effort, but in particular for South Africa, because of their very high rate of infection and prevalence of infection, particularly among young women. For now, though, Dr. Fauci is coming to the International AIDS Conference in Durban, with a strong conviction about expanding the availability of current treatments to marginalized groups such as sex workers and men who have sex with men. Antiretroviral drugs not only help to maintain the health of patients, but also significantly to contain the spread of the virus, providing us with a compelling case for greater health inclusion in areas where new infection rates are high. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, Washington.